I'm trying to get you drunk, Will. Be as bad as you, you want to be. I want you to out of here. <laughs> I usually do anyway. From the basement of a pretty normal office building in New York City, it's Shoot Your Shot, Thrillist Boozy Trivia Game Show, with your host, Will Fulton, and special guest, Colt McCauley. Cheers, and remember to tip your bartender. Hello everybody, welcome to Shoot Your Shot. I'm Will Fulton and my guest today is Holt McCallany. You might know him best as Detective Bill Tench from the hit Netflix show Mindhunter. Kind of mentally scarring, but we love it. Nice to be with you, Will. When is the last time you took a bunch of shots? It wasn't that long ago. Hours? Uh, days? Uh, 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 no, I Long. would say probably last weekend. So, I'm gonna ask you a bunch of questions. You get the question right, I take a shot. You get it wrong, you take a shot. Now today, we have a little something special prepared for you called the Irish Strangler. You're looking at a little side eye. Well, I'm a little bit of uh, a purist uh, when it comes to my alcohol. What exactly is this concoction? This is cereal milk, some Irish whiskey, and simple syrup. Okay, well the only one of those ingredients that appeals to me is the Irish whiskey. But if we're gonna do shots, I prefer to do tequila shots. And my favorite tequila is Don Julio 1942. So I don't think we've ever had anyone request some straight liquor. We can make that happen, right? Do, 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 do. This is it? That's a good tequila. Let's rack them up. Okay, question number one. Robert Ressler, the real life FBI agent your Mindhunter character is based upon, is famous for doing what aside from coining the term serial killer and everything involved in Mindhunter? A, ghostwriting a series of children's books. B, arresting Ted Bundy. C, developing the nation's first computer database of unsolved murders. Or D, inventing the big mouth Billy Bass. You know that thing on the wall that flaps around? I don't know sings? that, but I do know the answer to the question. You don't know the big mouth? The answer to the question, ladies and gentlemen, is C. Uh, that is correct. Take a shot, dude. <laughs> Cheers. Now, is that a smooth tequila? That's right. why I wanted you on here. I knew you'd shake it up a little bit. So I have a question. So obviously, you know, Mindhunter, based on a real life cast of characters that helped develop the FBI profiler unit. What was the most surprising thing you learned about the real life FBI agents that helped inspire Mindhunter? The thing that shocked me the most was when I really came to understand the price that these guys pay emotionally and psychologically and sometimes physically because they're obsessed with these crimes and trying to catch these killers. Right. They're thinking about it all the time. They take their work home with them. It affects their family life. I had a renewed respect for guys who devote their lives you know, to, to law yeah. enforcement, and particularly that branch of law enforcement. Sure. Uh, serial killer research, did you enjoy that a little bit? I do, you know, that's one of the really exciting things about my job. You get to uh, study things and meet people that you never would have otherwise had. I think that that's what audiences respond to, yeah. is they, they recognize that we're really striving for authenticity. I'm gonna ask you some questions about serial killers in general. Jeffrey Dahmer, he allegedly fed some of the people he killed to his neighbors. How did he serve his victims? A, chicken pot pies, B, in sandwiches, apparently bologna, C, protein shakes, D, in Flintstone vitamins, assorted. Protein shakes seems an awfully strange thing to offer to your neighbor. He wasn't the most normal guy. Though. He wasn't just, the most normal guy. That, yeah. I am going to say sandwiches. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Holt. Ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, he plays Bill Tench <laughs> on Mindhunter, but and you are the guy that has to drink another shot. <laughs> hey, your skills of deduction are very good so far. I play detective on TV. I play a bartender okay, on YouTube. Okay, so come on, brother. You're wasting time. I hear that you need to pack on some weight to play Bill. Oh, boy. You're usually pretty ripped, right? I, I'm into amateur boxing. When I was researching this character and thinking about his life, he's kind of this, like, 1970s, chain-smoking, hard-drinking, middle-aged guy. I just <laughs> said, you know what? I'm gonna embrace the fact that this character would have dad bod. If you had to eat human remains in a food, what would you pick? I think I would put it in some kind of a nice stew. I'm Irish, maybe an Irish stew. Why? Because then we can kind of mask it with, you know, we'll put some vegetables in, some seasoning, and some spices, Definitely. you know what I mean? Potatoes, so, chop yeah, them up, right, exactly. onions. Make it a little bit more delicious. It doesn't even sound that bad, but then you have to eat the broth. I choose quesadillas. Okay, we're gonna do something fun right here that almost will guarantee you take at okay. least one shot. Please, we call this Quote Hunter. Quote Hunter. We're gonna read you a real quote. You're yep. going to tell me who said it. Noted serial killer Charles Manson or noted non-serial killer so far, Taylor Swift. First quote, love is a ruthless game unless you play it good and play it right. I 
am going to say Charles Manson. That is a quote by Miss Taylor Swift. Oh my God. He wanted to be a rock star, and he wrote a lot of songs about love. I know, I know one of them. What's your game, girl, right? Yeah. Second quote. Pain's not bad, it's good. It teaches you things. I understand that. Charles Manson spent most of his adult life in prison. He went through a lot of very painful experiences. It's easy to imagine him espousing, you know, that, that particular concept. Yeah. On the other hand, uh -oh. look at all those painful breakups <laughs> that Taylor had. It really is a coin flip. I am gonna say Charles Manson. Yeah, that's right. Mr. Manson. Hit it, buddy. All right, Holt, you're up. Now, I am too beautiful to be set free. It's possible to imagine that he's speaking metaphorically and saying, I am too beautiful to be set free. Like, I understand that I am never going to be released. So I am going to answer Manson. It is Manson. You nailed this one, Holt. So one of my favorite parts about Mindhunter yeah. are the serial killer portrayals. They're super realistic. Do you get creeped out by the actors that are playing these serial killers? One more way to you. For your shot. There you go. Good man. The actor Cameron Britton, who played Ed Kemper, the co-ed killer, gave such a powerful, chilling performance. Yeah. I would say the same thing about the actor Damon Harriman, yeah. who plays Charles Manson in season two, and Oliver Cooper, who plays David Berkowitz, yeah, the son Berkowitz. of Sam. They're so good, and they're so authentic. The speech pattern, the intonations, the inflections, the little expressions that he makes, it can be uh, hypnotizing. I want to talk about one of your earlier roles, Fight Club. Fight Club. You play the mechanic. Which of the following facts about Fight Club is not true? A, Rosie O'Donnell spoiled the twist on her show. B, Meatloaf's fat suit was filled with birdseed to make it more realistic. C, the studio originally wanted Reese Witherspoon to play Marla. Or D, these are all true somehow. I know that A, is true. We were so proud of that movie. And she came out on her show and she was like, don't see <laughs> Fight Club. Yeah. It's demented, it's depraved. She went she's flicking cooch balls in the, in the stands. And, you while know, she's I doing remember it. seeing that and thinking, do I tell people not to watch your show, Rosie? Uh, Meatloaf is a buddy of mine, and I remember that fat, fat suit very well. Even though I saw him take the suit off and put it on, what's inside the suit is a little difficult for me to answer. The Reese Witherspoon of it all seems unlikely to me. You know, uh, Courtney Love had been considered at one time. Yeah. I'm gonna say that they did not push for Reese Witherspoon to play Helena Bonham Carter's part, but they could have. It's either all true. That's all yeah. true. Do fans ever like call you out for being that Fight Club guy? And do they ever yes. say the line to you? You know what line I'm talking about. In death, oh. a member of Project Mayhem has a name. His name is Robert Paulson. Yeah. His name is Robert Paulson. Yes, fans do that sometimes. Yeah. And in fact, I had a 15-year-old kid come up to me at an airport recently and go, his name is Robert Paulson. <laughs> Say it one time, bro. Say it one time. So I was like, his name is Robert Paulson. That yeah! is excellent. Let's go back to some serial killer All trivia. Right. Back to some serial killer. How was the BTK killer, AKA Dennis Rader, eventually caught? A, he was pulled over for a DUI and cops found a gun. B, he sent the police a floppy disk and they traced it back to him. C, he turned himself in. Or D, he accidentally outed himself while starring in an episode of Family Feud. What I love about Thrillist <laughs> and what I love about shoot your shot, is that my buddy Will is such a good sport because the answer is B. Yeah. Will He's right. is about to have <laughs> another shot of Don Julio, 1942. And the funny thing about that is he asked the police, if I sent you a floppy disk, would you be able to trace it? I mean, and the so, cops said, no, we right, wouldn't. And right. then he sent it. And then he was like, you guys said you wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's take it to our brand new interrogation room. It still has that new interrogation room smell. This is the inebriation interrogation. The inebriation interrogation. You know two truths and a lie? Two of the statements you're about to make yeah. will be true, yeah. and one of them will be false. In order for me to win, I have to identify the one false statement of the three. I'm ready, let's do it. <laughs> Fact number one, I have been arrested and got my mugshot taken. I mean, you're a nice guy, but there is something kind of shifty about you. Do you know what I mean? I get that a <laughs> And lot. I can imagine <laughs> that you might have been a juvenile delinquent, you know? <laughs> Fact number two, I've had sex in a museum in France. It seems to me much more likely that you've been arrested <laughs> than you've had sex in a museum in France. Fact number three, I am a certified scuba diver. Tu parles français? Oui. Où est-ce que t'as pris le foncé? Je m'appelle Will. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so he doesn't speak French. It doesn't mean I can't f in a French museum. Wow! Would you say that you're more interested in warm water or cold water diving? Cold water is where it's at. That's interesting. Yeah, it's invigorating. Yes. Would you say that it's more or less invigorating than having sex in a French museum? Equal. There are very few things in life that are more rewarding. Than friendship? Than having sex in a oh. French museum. <laughs> so you've done it as well? I've attempted it. You're obviously a little slicker than me. I would say so. Were you a uh, like a class A1 offender, meaning that was it a homicide, uh, a robbery? It wasn't homicide. <laughs> it was underage drinking. Which of those experiences was more memorable for you, getting arrested for underage drinking or um, having sex in a museum in France? Well, I also got arrested for having sex in a museum in France. So. Oh my god. <laughs> it's full circle. Yeah. Wow, dude. Dude, I'm going to bet that my buddy Will Fulton has never had sex in a museum in France. I'm not a scuba diver. Wow, I got it wrong. Congratulations. <laughs> On the question or the sex? On the sex, man. <laughs> because I, no, to have sex in France in a museum is not easy. You wanna know where now it was? I know what, yeah, I wanna know. Which is the Louvre? No. It was the Toulouse Lautrec Museum. I am so impressed, dude. <laughs> now I have to learn how to scuba dive. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, serial killer Rodney Alcala was featured on a legendary game show in the midst of his killing spree. What game show did he appear on? A, The Price is Right. B, Wheel of Fortune. C, Jeopardy. Or D, The Dating Game. Every once in a while, when you're a detective, you have to follow your Punch. I'm gonna say that the serial killer was a contestant on the dating game. Yeah, you're right. Have a shot, buddy. <laughs> Take a Why little did you guess that? It's just so ironically surreal. Bachelor number three, what are your interests? I'm into torture, bondage. Skiing. <laughs> Here's the thing though, he won, the girl picked him. Oh wow! But did not go on a date with him. Once they met, she thought he was uh, totally creepy. Go figure. Number eight, what Number country eight. produces the most serial killers percentage wise? A, Ireland, B, Finland, C, Spain, or D, the USA? The United States of America. You're right, patriotic man. Have a shot, brother. You know what percentage? I don't know, what? 67. Season two, how was shooting it different than season one? Were there higher expectations? You know, was it a little bit of a different filming experience? When a television show is really good, when you have a really interesting character, what's so rewarding about it is you can explore the character in much greater detail than you can in any other medium. There isn't enough room in a two hour movie or a three hour play and do you think that's why now A-list actors and people like David Fincher are gravitating towards television? You can tell a very long story and that ultimately could be more rewarding. That is exactly why. I got that right, take a shot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do a little mini game. Okay. We call this Who Dis. Who Dis. Holt's gonna pick a card. Don't look at it. There's a name on that card. Holt's gonna put it on his forehead. He's gonna ask me 10 questions and try to figure out who he is. I have to tell you, Holt, you picked a pretty good one. Okay, am I a serial <laughs> killer? I hope not. I don't think so. Am I a real person? I would say so. Am I a person that we may have seen on Mindhunter? Yes. Am I a criminal? I would hope not. Am I an actor? Yeah. Am I Jonathan Groff? <laughs> no. Am I Holt McCallany? <laughs> I'm myself! <laughs> And I got it right, do a shot! <laughs> you wanna do one together? I'll do one with you, sure. Cheers, Cheers. my brother. Got one more question. How many separate times does Bill smoke in Mindhunter season one? A, 33 times, B, 43 times, C, 53 times, or D, 63 times? <sighs> Only because I wanna see you do one more shot, Will, I'm gonna say D! 63 times! It's 53 times. Is it really? Shout out to YouTuber Immortalized Characters for actually doing the math. Cheers, buddy. Cheers to you. Do you smoke? No. Did you actually smoke cigarettes or were they? Yes. God, how was that? Uh, brutal. Right, because Fincher takes a lot of takes, right? Correct. So how many cigarettes do you think that you can smoke? I smoked over the course of the season many thousands of cigarettes. Sometimes I would get nauseous, I would get dizzy because you're smoking so much and you have to smoke in the same place at the same time. I would drink Pepto-Bismol. The things we do for our jobs. Cheers, buddy. This was a real pleasure, Will. I'll tell you what, shoot your shot was an even better experience than I thought it would be. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Why don't you sign our bar? 
I know we ended up not drinking the drink that was prepared for us by Garen Ferry of Reclamation Bar, but here's how to make it just in case you want to try it. And now, buzzed bartending with Will Fulton. Two ounces cereal milk, bake cornflakes for 15 minutes, put in a big bucket of milk, and strain it to get rid of the cornflakes, unless you like your milk chunky, and I'm not judging. 1.5 ounces single malt Irish whiskey of your choosing, and 0.5 ounces of simple syrup. Mix thoroughly. Shake vigorously, but carefully. Strain, and you got yourself an Irish Strangler. Cheers. We're going out, right? Just We're in New York. We're gonna kill that bottle of tequila. <laughs> We're finishing that bottle of tequila. Mm. Well, we've known each other a yeah, long time. Yeah, yeah, we go way back. <laughs> yeah, we go way back. We like Holt here at Shoot To Your Will Shot. Fulton. This is great. That was Shoot Your Shot. I'm Will Fulton. I'm Holt McCallany. Like, subscribe, comment. You like Thrillist, right? I love it. Should they subscribe to Thrillist? They should, and they should watch Mindhunter on Netflix, and they should watch Shoot Your Shot.